wouldn't say amazing. At best, it's a modest leap forward from the basic technology that gave us Country Bear Jamboree. <laughs> hey, Sheldon? Yes. <laughs> Peace? No, not peace. Hang on. Oh, uh, look. It's Leonard and R2-D bag. <laughs> Tell us about your work, Amy. I doubt you'd understand. Sheldon tells me you only have a master's degree. Was it out of respect that you didn't tell Raj about the time he dropped his iPhone in a urinal? Dude, I put that thing on my face! I think a more amusing violation of Raj's trust is when Howard convinced him that foreigners give presents to Americans on Thanksgiving. Hey, I didn't see you giving back your Snoopy snow cone maker. You say you're Special Agent Page, FBI. Here's my ID. And here is my Justice League membership card. <laughs> But that doesn't prove I know Batman. I just want to ask you a few questions about Howard Wallowitz. Oh, all right. I doubt anyone would risk the stiff penalties for impersonating a federal officer just to ask questions about a minor league engineer with an unresolved Oedipal complex. Would you mind if we talked about Mr. Wallowitz now? A little, but go on. Thank you. Would you characterize him as responsible? I'm going to answer that with a visual aid. <laughs> this is my nine-disc complete Lord of the Rings trilogy Blu-ray set. Mr. Wallowitz borrowed it. Damaged plastic retention hub number three. <laughs> and then returned it to me, hoping I wouldn't notice. Would you characterize that as responsible? Would you be interested in knowing that Mr. Wallowitz once snuck onto my World of Warcraft account and changed the name of a certain level 80 warlock from Sheldor to Smeldor? I'm afraid not. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Where would you like to start? He refuses to pay fines when he's overdue with books I lend him. He crashed the Mars rover while attempting to impress a woman. He recommended that I go see the third Matrix movie because it was, and I quote, just as good as the first one. <laughs> If that's not irresponsible, I don't know what is. Yes, well, let's talk about it anyway. I don't want to. <laughs> not that my disinclination to discuss the topic should be interpreted as evidence of Howard Wallowitz's culpability in the destruction of government property worth millions of dollars. Thank you, Dr. Cooper. You know how we're always having to stop and solve differential equations, like when you're doing Fourier analysis or using the Schrodinger equation? Uh, Howard doesn't. He's only an engineer. <laughs> Her ridiculous dream of becoming an actress lies shattered about her. Hey, wait a minute. Well, hang on, let's see where he's going. <laughs> then it hits her. How is she going to survive? But she has no prospects, no marketable skills. And then one day, she meets a group of geniuses and their friend Howard. <laughs> hey, I... Hang on, let's see where he's going. Why am I listed as your executive assistant? Because the word secretary has fallen into disrepute. <laughs> well, FYI, my mother's birthday is coming up. I'm going to need you to pick up a present. <laughs> well, good morning, friend Howard, friend Raj. I see you gentlemen are enjoying beverages. Perhaps they would taste better out of these. World's greatest astrophysicist? Don't thank me. You earned it. Howard Wallowitz. <laughs> Why not world's greatest engineer? Oh, I'm sorry, I typed that into the label maker, but I just couldn't press enter. To your friends, or post them on Facebook right from the app. Well, I must say I am impressed. Thanks. Well, you all have clearly put in a lot of hard work. We have. As a result, you have taken the most important step on the road to success, learning what not to do. Now, let's start fresh. <laughs> We're going to need some tea. Do you realize that teaching is the first thing I failed at since my ill-fated attempt to complete a chin-up in March of 1989? If this humiliating experience is really troubling you, there are things we could do about it. For instance? Well, 
The first thing that comes to mind is isolating the part of your brain where the memory is stored and destroying it with a laser. Hmm. No. One slip of the hand and suddenly I'm sitting in the engineering department building doodads with Wallowitz. <laughs> Sheldon's a bit quirky, isn't he? Oh, please. That crazy bastard's looking at Quirky in the rearview mirror. <laughs> Hey, Raj, want to see a new magic trick I've been working on? Howard, if I may interject here with a piece of friendly advice, is working on magic tricks really how you want to spend your time? Uh, granted, you're just an engineer, but that doesn't mean you might not someday build a gee-gaw or a thingamabob that may get you a thank you in someone else's Nobel Prize acceptance speech. <laughs> here, shuffle these. Okay. Now spread them out on the table, face down. Pick one. Look at it. Okay. Now remember your card. Put it back in the deck. Is it any wonder he doesn't have a doctorate? <laughs> How about that? But is that your card? Yes, it is. Very good. <laughs> well, it's not cool. It's a childish trick designed to confuse and intrigue simpletons. How'd you do it? Magician never reveals his secrets, but surely a future Nobel Prize winner can figure it out. Um. Aw, he has the same look my little nephew gets when he can't figure out how I got his nose. You know, I have some remedial magic tricks that might be more your speed, like, oh, look! <laughs> the pencil's rubber! Want me to tell you how to do it? No. I'll show you one more time. Raj? But the, hang on. This time, do it with me, so I can make sure there's no monkey business. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Two of hearts. I hate you. <laughs> gonna win the Nobel Prize. <laughs> Good news, gentlemen, I found our hacker. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, no one can hide from me. Not Waldo, not Carmen Sandiego, not even topless Natalie Portman. <laughs> well, I've never said these words before, but good job, Howard. <laughs> Thanks. So how's it feel knowing that when you two get married, you'll be referred to as Mr. and Dr. Wallowitz? <laughs> Unless he takes Bernadette's last name, and considering her advanced status, that could open some doors for him. 